I believe my probability is high um, because of the confidence I have in the Ghanaian people. Uh, let's chart a new path. Let's, let's do things a bit differently now because we obviously are aware now you can't continue doing the NDC and MPP and expect anything to change. If it would have changed, it would have changed in the last 20, 26, 27 plus years. It hasn't. Uh, and I think Ghanaians are aware of that now. The UK trained chartered accountant declared his intentions to independently run for the presidential race this year. And with the utmost humility, announced my intention to run for the high office of the president of the Republic of Ghana. His declaration came with a mixed reactions from the public as a section where the view is just adding up to the number of the unsuccessful independent presidential hopefuls. As of 2016, only one out of the seven independent presidential hopeful was able to meet the EC's criteria. But asked if he's not wasting his time and funds, Mike Kofigan said the ordinary Ghanaians believe in his agenda and are helping with funds to push forward. If I'm wasting my time, then it's equally saying Ghanaians are wasting their time because I represent the Ghanaian. Um, I don't think I'm wasting my time. I don't think Ghanaians are wasting their, their decisions and their thought processes in deciding that, you know what, uh, we've recognized now that, you know, we need to change the way we've done things. He is confident of filing his nomination to contest the presidential elections when the EC opens nominations later this year. The criteria are not too um, extraordinary, you know. Um, I'm required to uh, uh, have my nominations done uh, when the when the register does open, and I think we can cover that. I mean, if we look at just the the number of following we already have, I don't I don't think that is a problem at all. He also spoke about how he will select his ministers. About the constitutional uh, provision for 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 selecting 50 percent plus of our ministers from parliament is also that. It doesn't tell you which, you know, which divisions to put them on, which, which uh, ministries to put them in. I don't intend to have a very huge uh, ministerial uh, um, uh, uh, spectrum of ministers. So uh, the number of ministers I'm going to require from parliament is actually going to be very small, much, much smaller than uh, the previous two governments have had. 